Hey there. Um, I was just really excited because I just got this in the mail. I'm pretty sure it's my second draft of Persuasion. Hopefully a little bit more cleaned up. Um, I opened the box, but it's still going to be crinkled down here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so. Oh, cool. Okay, all right. So I also ordered some test pieces uh, for bread because I wanted to see how well the cards would fit and stuff. So I also got that. But okay, all right, here we go. Um, all right, this is more along the lines of the box size that I was thinking of. The other one is much too big. Oh, I should get it just for comparison. Where did I go? Oh, right here. So, this one always felt like so. Here's the thing this box felt like hmm. Okay, so it's about the same size. So, I'd have to get some like snug sleeves if I want to use this, I think. So, um that was the thing I forgot to order from them. I forgot to order some of their sleeves to see if they would fit snugly and I could just recommend people buy that. But the box looks much clean. Oh, no! Oh, I still screwed up the bottom. Ah, jeez. This is why we test. This is why we test. Look at this. It's like... <laughs> I, this is, I did this last time and I did it again. I thought I checked for it. I goofed. I done goofed. Oh, well, well, that is easy to fix. I just got to flip the image and then shift the things around. So that's not the end of the world, but, ah, it looks so nice. Looks so nice. Okay, so, um, I have to get some snugger sleeves to see if they'll fit in this box. But the other thing I wanted to see is if, um, I also ordered this parrot box and I wanted to see if the cards would fit in here because it's a little bit wider than the cards. Um, so... I'm going to check that too while I'm here. Let's see what we got here. So, new box. Got fake cards, which are mostly the same, but there are some new ones in here. Or, well, new art, I should say. The new diary cards. Yeah, yeah, these look really nice. New traits. Uh, I need to find one with the... Um, with the small crowns because those are one of the ones I'm worried about. Oh no, it looks, it reads pretty good. I think it reads pretty good. Uh, yeah. Oblivious, that's me. Okay. And then here are the inbox markers. Okay, I was a little bit worried about these two because um, I pretty much, yeah, yeah, you could see the print because like um, they have like a safe zone, but these arrows are pretty much entirely outside the safe zone because they're kind of not necessary. And so that does unfortunately mean that I would get some like drift situations. Like take a look at this card, for example, like this card, the tip of the arrow is kind of cut off. So there's like a little bit of drift there. Uh, so if I'm super concerned about that, I might just do away with the arrows entirely. I don't know if they hold a lot of value or I might just squash them a little bit. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just squash them a tiny bit. So. It's less likely that they'll be a victim of bleed cut. Um, okay, okay. So squash the arrows. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And then I wanted to see. So another thing that I changed was I changed the um, the uh, the stamps and the uh, whatever the tokens. Well, aside from just the art in general, but I oh that's right. I also have to take a look at the new family seals and stuff. So yeah, I better take these all out. Oh, good. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Eh? Here we are. Okay. Oh, the rules too. The rules are... I I unfortunately made some slight wordage changes after a playtest. But for the most part, this is... They were able to figure it out. It wasn't perfect, but they figured it out. And that's like what I'm looking for. Oh, this looks much better. This looks much better than my previous one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this tiny little rule book. This is much nicer than my previous one. God, how did I even do my last one? The last one was a real hot mess. But this looks much better, much better, much better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Perfect. And it's got my new name and everything on it. Okay, what else have we got here? 
I got my new... So, like, one of the things is that I kind of didn't really think about the background of, like, the stamps and stuff. Uh, but let's see. Okay, so, like, here are the new family seals. The colors look like... They look distinct enough to me. I have a hard time because I'm not colorblind, but they look decent to me. Oh, and there are the cats for fun. Yeah. They're looking good. I'll punch these later. Um, and also, well, I want to punch at least one stamp. Because, like, one thing was that, like, I didn't think about the borders of the stamps. And they, like, stood out like a sore thumb. But now, that's real snug. Real snug. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, now... Okay, so, yeah, okay, this looks much better. So before, like, the border was, like, a big old, like, I don't know, like, yellow or something like that. But now it's, like, the same color as the paper, so it kind of blends in. Yeah, that looks much better. Um, and also, they're double-sided now. Before, it used to have, like, a different suit on the back. It used to have a suit on the back. But it was already kind of an ask to get people to, like, put the a stamp into the card sleeve and that just made it worse because it was like oh i have to make sure it's oriented right it was too fiddly like way too fiddly and nobody ever used it that way anyways they already had enough stuff to fiddle with so um that was just unnecessary so double-sided um ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see what are big things um I think that was the big stuff. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to test was I want to see if these stuff, this stuff will fit in the tarot box. At least the tarot box looks right. The tarot box I really struggled with. <laughs> I, I like threw it together in a, in a hot minute because I was just like, I just want to see if it works. <laughs> and I don't want to order a blank box because it costs about the same. So I'm just going to order a... I'm just going to uh, quickly make a tarot box for it so that I could at the very least use it. Okay, so I already have some sleeve. I'm going to use my old sleeve card so I don't have to re-sleeve everything. Okay. Alright, so this might not be super accurate because um, I have some stems in these sleeves in case I need to record a um, sample video or something. But this should give a general idea. Let's see, will this fit? Oh? Oh! Fit. Oh my god, I think it's actually fitting. It's a little snug. It's a little snug, but like I said, it has the stamps and there's like a little space at the top so I could fit like, um, I could have like the stamps and stuff in like a zip lock on top or something. Ah, it fits. Ah, it fits in a tarot box! Oh, I'm so happy about that. Oh, I'm really jazzed. I'll have- the stamps and stuff would have to go separately, like, in, like, a bag on top. But honestly, that's preferable, because this is the way I'm storing- ah! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, this is the way I'm, like, storing them now, like, in the sleeve. And honestly, it's not good for the sleeve. It's kind of a big mess. And stuff like this happens. So, but this- ah, oh, I love this! It's perfect. Oh, I think it's even better than this because like, because like with these, it's like very snug vertically. So you don't really have a lot of room to sleeve them. And also the cards get thicker when they're sleeved. This is, this box is probably, I don't know, it's weird. My sleeves, this works better, but for like snug sleeves, this might be better. It's hard to say. It's definitely got a little bit of a bulge to it, but that might just be because of the, like, some of these have stems and stuff in them. But I'm just really jazzed that this worked. This might just be my personal box. 
Especially since um, I think the Game Crafter won't actually ship it in this box because it won't. I think it would be too snug. Um, but they will ship it in this box because all the pieces without the sleeves fit in here. So this might be the box I ultimately go with. Although I'm going to have to flip the uh, the dingle dang. Um, but look at the knife bunny on there. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, that's it. Oh, well, bonus. Uh, here's here's the bread box. <laughs> um, I ordered this in case I wanted to similarly test the, um, just like as another test comp test box, basically. Um, I wanted to see if the cards would just happen to fit in here because I think this is a, yeah, this is technically wider. So it might actually fit in there. No, these the thing is that this is like yeah, this is a snug this this will fit in here. So if it fits in here, it's not there's no room for the sleeves. So But this is what the bread box is was gonna look like. <laughs> so yeah. Mm. Not bad. I like the look of it. Maybe I'm going to change all this stuff, but at least I got a cool bread box now. All right, now I'm done. Um. Oh, wait, there's supposed to be a poker folio in here somewhere. Did they stick it in here? Oh, that's the two chair. Where is my poker folio? Poker folio. Where are you, my poker folio? Where ye be? Where ye be, poker folio? They did not come. Did I miss you? Did I put in all the other stuff? Is it in here? I don't see it. Where's my poker folio? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll look for it and yeah, I'll look for it. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me. Um, you have a good one. Bye.